So now that I've explained the levels of calibration and broken each one down, what I want to explain to you now is the actual model I personally use to calibrate in field in real time and the model I believe you should use as well. And this works really well for me at an advanced level because my ability to model women is very, very good. However, it'll work for you at whatever level you're at. And it's also not only the best way to calibrate in the moment, it's probably the best way to learn to model women better as you go. So it's not only the best for your results that night, but it's also the best process I know for learning and improving in your calibration in your game. And basically it's a three-step process. Step one is look at the girl, look at all the information you have available and try and come up with the best model for who she is. Okay. If you don't have like, and you can use a lot of things here. You can use the way she's dressed. What clothes did she choose to wear? That tells you something about her model. How did she choose to do her hair? That tells, is she in shape? That tells you a little bit about it. Um, who is she hanging out with? What kind of club is she at? All these things are information that can lead to enhance your model. If you don't have any information, or you don't know how to read the information, go with the general female model that I've kind of outlined so far throughout this course, looking at their motivations, looking at their sexual drives, that sort of a thing, okay? If that's a little too advanced for you, then just model her at first as though she's you. Just pretend you're escalating on yourself. Now that's gonna be wrong in a lot of ways because men and women are different, but it's a good starting place. And as you'll see later on in the model, at least there's a place for you to calibrate from there, okay? So basically from your level best, look at the girl and decide what are her drives, what are her desires, what will she be receptive to, have a good model in your head the best that you can. If it's good, that'll help. If it's not so good, it's okay because we're gonna work from there, okay? But you need a starting place. So the starting place is model her the best you can from the experience you have and what she's told you. That's step one. Step two is start escalating. However, you wanna be escalating in the way of those top two levels I explained to you. So you want to be escalating in very, very small moves. You want to be paying attention to her throughout and you'll be constantly willing and ready to pull away or if possible, actually pulling away ahead of time and working to get her to chase in the escalation process. Okay. So you're either doing invisible escalation or reverse escalation from the previous, you know, segments. Okay. Those are the two forms. So you want to start escalating based on your best understanding of her model using one of those two, either very, very slow positive escalations or teasing the escalation and trying to get her to escalate on you. So that's step two. Step one, model who you think she is. Step two, start escalating. And if things go as planned, if your model was right, that should go pretty smoothly. You should either escalate successfully or you'll be getting the nose and it won't be a big deal. You'll back off. You'll keep pushing forward and, and you won't get any hard nose. Things should go well or you'll even get her escalating on you. That's if things go smoothly. However, the next step, the third step, and this is very critical. You want to look for anything that surprises you. Okay. And by definition, anything that surprises you means that your model of her was wrong. Okay. Cause if, if you understood her perfectly, nothing she's going to do is going to surprise you. So every time she does something surprising that indicates your model was off. So when that moment happens, when she says some weird bizarro thing, then you want to like take a step back and be like, wait, maybe I miscalibrated the situation. All right. Or if suddenly she like has some kind of an outburst, that's a surprise. Or if she says something that like you thought she was a sweet, innocent girl and she says something very, very like scandalous and kind of like something you would expect like a girl who's had like tons and tons of sex in her life to say, you might be like, whoa, hang on. That surprised me. Okay. You're looking for that thing that surprises you. And as soon as it surprises you, you want to go back and reevaluate your model. And this stuff will happen so often. There'll be times when I think that there's no way that I'm going to have sex with a girl. And then she says something like just so, so out there, like so sexual. I'm like, holy shit. I was completely wrong about this girl. Right. Or there'll be a time when like the girl has acted in such a way that like the stereotype based on my experience is that this girl's like extremely promiscuous, extremely sexually open. And then she'll say something like she'll like, it'll turn out she's like a virgin. And I'll just be like, what, what the fuck? Right. You will be drastically surprised from time to time. Or there are times when things will be going really, really well. And then out of nowhere, she'll just look at me like you're fucking sleazy when you didn't even do anything, when you haven't even done or said anything for the last minute and there's no basis for it, she'll just come out with it. So these moments will happen. When that surprising moment happens, then that's when you need to stop, readjust, back off and stop escalating. And then once you have a good guess as to her blueprint again, a good guess as to what her, her model of the world is and who she is, then and only then will you start escalating again. And what's gonna happen at first is you use this model 
is the things that surprise you will be these big things. The better you get at using this model and the better you get with women in general and understanding them, the things that are gonna surprise you will be really subtle. Like it'll be like, she used this word instead of this word. And that, that's like, whoa, why would she use that word? And you're like, oh shit, I get it. And you'll understand her in this really intricate way that it's almost like you're inside her head, like reading her thoughts and reading her emotions. And that's the level you can eventually get to with this. <clears throat> but again, what is the process? Step one, model her. Decide to the best of your knowledge with what information you have, what is she all about, what are her desires, what does she want in the world, what does she want from you, okay? Model her. Then start escalating, but escalate smart. Do invisible escalation or reverse escalation. You need to be escalating, but do one of the two. And then you're looking for anything unusual, anything that surprises you. Anything that surprises you means your model was a little bit off and you need to adjust. You can adjust in the moment. Also, for long-term learning, Anytime you have failed sets, I want you to look back at those interactions and I want you to think what was unusual? What was unusual about the one that failed? Because these are great opportunities for you to learn what's going on wrong in your game um, and learn what's going on wrong in your modeling of women. Because when you get those down, when your calibration is on point, you're gonna be unstoppable.